Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you use labels inside Gmail. Labels are a really cool way to organize your emails and make them really easy to see and spot, especially if you need to refer to them in the future. If you're moving from Outlook, you remember in Outlook you could only ever stick an email under one folder, so it could only go under one even if the email was covering multiple topics. With Gmail you can apply multiple labels to an email, so if it's got multiple topics inside that email, you can actually file it under multiple labels, which again makes it very easy to find in the future and to organize your emails in general. So here we are, we're looking at a Gmail inbox. You'll see down the left hand side, labels is really clear and in your face. To create a new label, all you need to do is click on the plus icon, give the label a name, so let's call this one marketing. If you want to, you can put the label underneath an existing label, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to have it as a top level label. So hit create, you'll see that the marketing label has now appeared. All I need to do is click on these three dots and I can change the color of the label so it stands out. So let's change this one to a red color. So there we go, we've got marketing and it's standing out there. It's really easy to apply a label to an email. A couple of ways you can do that. So you can do it directly in your inbox. I can just drag the word marketing label onto the email and let go and you can see it's been applied. I can also drag the accounts one if I wanted to and that's also been applied. So that email is now located under both the accounts and the marketing label so I can find that easily in the future especially if the email like I said has multiple topics that could be classified under both. The other way you can apply a label to an email is by opening the email, click on this label icon and then just putting a tick next to the labels that you'd like it to a, appear underneath. So let's put it under this project one as well and hit apply. And you see it's just listing the labels across the top. If we go back to the inbox you can see all the labels that are applied to this email are also visible and easy to see and it make, kind of makes it stand out in your inbox especially when you've got lots of emails in your inbox. Once you finish with an email typically you should archive an email to get it out of your inbox so your inbox is nice and clear and it's only there for new emails. But that email I just archived is still available underneath all those labels so it's underneath, underneath the marketing one, it's underneath the accounts one and it's underneath the project one. So easily, easily find it. To remove a label it's as simple as adding. All I need to do is open the email click on the cross, that label has now been removed. So that accounts label has now been removed from this email. It will no longer appear under the accounts label, but it will still remain, remain appearing underneath the marketing and the project email because those labels are still attached to that email. One thing you can do with Gmail and labels is you can automatically have labels apply, get applied to emails as they come in. Kind of handy if you've got emails coming in, say from your boss or maybe invoice emails and things like that that you want to stand out in your inbox so you can see them as they come in, but also have them automatically listed underneath the label down the left hand side. So say for example this email is an invoice one. What I can do is I can create a filter for this email so it automatically gets the accounts label applied to it as soon as it comes into the inbox. All I need to do on that is click on this icon up here which shows the search options inside Gmail and then I just need to put the variables in. So I know that many accounts invoices have the word invo account emails have the word invoice in them. So if I'm looking for bills and stuff like that let's have a search for emails that include the word invoice. So I've just typed an invoice there and I'm going to hit search. It's just going to come back with a demonstration of the emails that it's found inside my inbox that have that word. It's only one email in this inbox, it's a test email inbox, but it's got the word invoice in and it's detected it. All I do is click on this icon again and I click create filter. I then click apply the label and I select accounts. And I can do this retrospectively. So that email is already in my inbox. I can also tell it to apply this label retrospectively to all emails in my inbox. So say for example you're looking for an e a, a group of emails, you might want to group your emails into a label, and you're looking for one that may be a travel one, you could put in a, a search term for that travel email, maybe you're booking an away day for the team, and it will find all those emails and you can get it to put a label on those emails and all those emails will appear in the label down the left hand side here. So let's create this filter for this one for invoice and accounts. Give it a second or two, we'll go back to the inbox and you'll see that the accounts label has now just been automatically applied to this email and it's also in my left hand side accounts label. Uh, if I click on there you'll see it's in there and it's also leaving a number up there of how many unread emails I've got in there as well because I haven't opened that email yet so it's classed as unread. So what I could do is I could actually set up a filter again where it skips the inbox but automatically just goes into this label so it wouldn't be in the inbox but I could see oh on the accounts I've got one email visible visible that I need to read, click on there and it'll bring back those emails for me. So it's a really cool way of organizing your emails labels are inside Gmail and just to make it easier to find them and just organize and manage them. So give it a go and leave any questions you have in the comments below.